<laughs> oh, he's gonna videotape me. This will be good. All right. Now, this way somebody can say I actually didn't tell you something. Now, I'm gonna show you something. That, who brought their notes up, by the way? I know, but I mean, like, she had the one that she had already done. Okay, what's step one on your notes? Oh, warm engine. Okay, so I've already done that. Okay? So, now, your oil fill can. This is not part of the demo. This is not anything other than for something for you to think about. If I place it right there. What is that? What is that cost? What will that? Oil to drive the engine. What? I keep close to trunk oil. Do I need to move him so he's not touching you? You might lose it. Such a simple question. See if you guys can control yourself. Control yourself. Okay. Now, if you place that there, okay, which. You should at least loosen it before you start draining your oil. It'll help you drain out. Um, if you place it there, you can't close the hood and forget to put it back on. Because uh, you can't close the hood. Okay. That's why somebody, yeah, actually, a student told me that. Okay. Now, I took this air cleaner element out. And if you take, I'll do my phone because it's going to be easier. A light and look through the back side of it. Can you guys see my light? Not real well, well dude, can you? So this needs to be replaced. Um, one of the things I want to tell you about that is, I'm just telling you this because I'm under the hood. If it has wires on it like this, make sure you go and plug them before you start pulling the air cleaner box off. The only problem with that is make sure you plug them back in when you are done also, okay? I am going to put the air cleaner element back in here while I'm before I start under here, okay? What's the next step, Aislinn? Um, okay. Yeah. So the waist is already set up. Yeah. I didn't realize I was going to sleep. No, I was going to sleep. I got blankets at home. I should go to sleep. I should probably go to sleep. Eh, maybe I'll go to sleep. Go to sleep on the, on the blanket. <laughs> points are on this socket? Six. Six, okay. Now, what is the drive of this socket? Three eighths. Three eighths. Somebody gave me the correct answer. Okay. Now, how many points are on this box end wrench? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, wrong. Gentlemen? I'm really not doing, here's the thing of this. You are going to have to do this, and guess what you're going to be doing it on? 
customer cars. Do you have three grand you want to spend on somebody's motor because you weren't paying attention? No. Okay. Okay, now, if you look at the end of these fine snap-on ratchets, it says on and off, okay? So, we are going to put it on off. The reason I'm telling you this is because I had a student come to me many years ago, hand me a ratchet, and I just took it like this, and I went, oh, that's kind of strange, and I flipped it the other direction. I went over and tried to take the drain plug. He'd been over there for the last half an hour with the ratchet on on, trying to take the drain plug out. There were no threads left in the drain, on the drain plug or in the oil pan. Okay, so that teacher did not take their car home that time. Okay, our oil drain containers, we only have two of them. Okay, they are adjustable up and down. If you loosen this black knob, you can raise them lower the uh, drain pan of the oil drain container. Drain plug. Try to get this drain plug loose before we put this up here. Okay. All right, Hazel Moore, where are we at on our steps? Um, allow oil to drain to drip. Okay. So, while you're wait, allowing oil to drain to a drip, the first thing you should do is inspect the drain plug. Okay, that's the next thing, okay? So that's the next thing in case you remember. Okay. So, condition of the hex that you stuck the six point socket on, it's in good. And you look here and at the seal and it's in good condition you look at the threads and they are in good condition okay this is the time that you let mr closer or myself know that you have an issue with that if you do okay okay what's the next thing Okay, so we're gonna wait for the oil to drain to a drip, and we'll do several things while we're doing that. Okay, first of all, I will. And I will get these. Okay, this kit with different adapters in it for different oil filter housings um, for um, oil filters that are not canister type that actually have just an element, okay? Um, and then we have a canister, a small canister oil filter. Oh, it's in my hand, so two of them. All right, there it was, okay. I used to own one, actually. I sold it. Okay, this doesn't fit, by the way. Okay, this is my favorite style of oil filter wrench. It fits a canister type oil filter. Okay, um, but this one's too small. It comes in about three different sizes. Okay, off the top of my head. So I'm gonna have to find the bigger one. Okay, so hold that train of thought. I'll be back. Let's just hope the file doesn't corrupt on my phone. Okay, I'm sorry for what I said. Okay, I'm back. Yes, sir. So Nice curved handle portion here. Put it on your oil filter. Okay, and if you tug on it, it should tighten up on there and remove the oil filter. Okay. Obviously, it has these notches on the outside of that oil filter. And you could put something like that on there. I do not particularly like these things. If you don't have to use them, don't. Okay. Um, doesn't fit real well. It tends to get stuck on there. 
pretty much a pain in the neck, okay? Now, say you've taken your vehicle to Victory Lane, um, or one of them hook all those places, Uncle Ed's or, you know, someplace like that, and they put their oil filter on, put your oil filter on with a wrench, which obviously you're not supposed to, okay? Uh, and you can't get it off, okay? You've tried that wrench, you know, um, et cetera and so on. There are other violent things we can try. You get a strap wrench like this, okay? If you look on that end, it's half inch dry. Look on that end, it's three eighths, okay? You put it on oil filter like this, and it'll fit any size oil filter. Okay, you turn that like that, and it locks in there. You can stick a half inch drive on there, big breaker bar. If you can't get it off of that, well, yeah, you got major issues, okay? Now, um, it's pretty much the types of oil filter wrenches that we have, okay? When, wow, it's turning to a drift, okay? When the vehicle is up and you're waiting on that, don't just like, you know, stand around socialize with each other. It's a good time to check tire pressure, okay? Tread depth, um, your exhaust system, your steering and suspension components that you're supposed to check, all of those sorts of things while you're waiting for it to drain to a drip. Thankfully, this is drain to a drip. The last car I did, it took a while for it to drain to a drip. Like that, okay? I don't have a whole lot of time for the demo, so reinstall the drain plug by hand. That's you know. All right. Snug it up, okay? Wait. There's oil off the bottom of the thing in there. Now. Now it's time to remove the oil filter, okay? I like to break that oil filter loose and kind of give it a minute to, here's the I gotta do it, I guess it's gonna wait until Okay. I like to let it sit there and do that for a minute rather than have it run up my armpit. Okay. Is that Halloween? Is that my boss? I think it is. And I would tell him that to his face. Okay. Yes, that's where it says remove oil filter. I'll just say on your sheet there, diesel. Yeah, with my oil rinse. My oil rinse. For remove oil filter, check your square cut seal. Okay. Anybody know what square cut seal? Yes. So we're going to check for the square cut seal, guys, because they're talking about it. Guys, what, what's the square cut seal? Seal on the oil filter. These guys were talking over here. They didn't need to listen about to the O-ring on it. Huh? Are, are you talking about the O-ring that's on it? It's a square cut seal right there. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Make sure that it doesn't stick to the engine block, especially on Fords. They love to do that for a long time, and then you double gasket and blow them up, and you get down a rope on the block. Okay? So, um... Uh, so the square cut seal is on there, okay? All right, and I'm gonna look up at the engine block. It's good up there. This oil filter actually goes straight up. Mr. Tomosik, talk to you about what you can do with an oil filter that goes straight up when you're putting it on. Put a little bit of oil in, okay? Uh, why would we do that? Because there's gonna be no oil on the engine, so when the engine starts, there's gonna be no oil going to the galleries. Right, so if it already has some oil in the filter, that is just the wrong place for your filter. So I gotta dump this in here, and I'm make a mess. I've been known to do such things. This thing is big and bulky. This ain't gonna work out so well, I ain't really care. My boy. <laughs> Working this camera, I guess. Damn. I'm having issues. 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 I'
Okay, so now I got fresh oil in the oil filter and I can take and put some oil on the square cut seal. Now, if your oil filter is mounted to the block sideways, is it a good idea to put the filter, fill, put oil in the filter? Because where's the oil gonna go? Up your arm kit, okay? So let this one go straight up. We will put it up there. I can do this little dropping it. By the way, Based on where we at on steps. Oh, it's a seven. If I were to new oil filter, the correct size is shape. Eight is lubricate square seal, and then nine is tighten filter to pack to three quarters of the Okay, so I thought we were supposed to com compare old and new oil filter. Okay, you want to compare the size of the square cut seal, and you want to compare the size of the thread hole. Okay because a lot of times where it screws on will be different. Thread size, thread pitch, uh, diameter makes things a little difficult. And um, so make sure that you have the correct one. In this particular case, if you actually look at the part number on it, you should see that they match. Okay, I um, wonder why that is. It's because I bought them both, okay? From the same place, from a good reputable place. Kind of the price, you know what? That thing was almost nine dollars this time. So, okay, so how tight are we supposed to tighten an oil filter? Install a drain hood. Half three, three quarters of a turn beyond contact. Okay. Okay, what's the next thing? Okay, so here's the thing. If you had to use tools to remove or install your oil filter, make sure they're still out, okay? So if you had to, like the last car I did, it was 25 Newton meters, okay? It's what I had to torque the oil filter to, and it will say right on the outside. A lot of them element type filters, you actually are supposed to torque the cap that, puts back, that you put back on there when you put it back on, okay? Make sure that's still out and make sure you have the wrench, ratchet, socket, whatever it may be, out for me to check the drain plug if I happen to be the one checking it or Mr. Mosey, okay? So I'll come over here and I'll go like this. Yes, it's tight, okay? And I will check the drain plug. How about the filter? Yes, it's tight, okay? All right, what's the next step? Install oil. Okay, we can't do that from here. So, everyone out of the way. Because the car's coming down. I can tell you, I can tell you why it's going down like that. Now, in front of each bed should be a coffee can with an oil fill, oil funnel in it. Okay. Oh, that was the squeaker squeaker. That's the squeaker squeaker. Making fun of me. That's all. I'm gonna watch that plant. four parts and check it okay depending on your vehicle you should know how much oil you are putting in it where would we find that information owner's manual, owner's manual. okay where else the the internet. Internet. huh the internet the, well, okay on Mitchell on demand
It's a corn blow, kind of like me. You know? <laughs> What's that camp say for oil? What's it say for oil? Hmm. I'm not sure. You think it's supposed to have 520 in? I think it probably is too. Yeah. <laughs> That's my guess is 520. Let me tell you a story about this vehicle. Is my guess correct? Huh? Is my guess correct? I would say you probably are correct, yes. Okay. Um, this vehicle was stolen. Okay. And used in several robberies. Okay. For about, you know, about four days, okay? Yeah, I, I'm not kidding you. Sweet. Um, did, did you steal it or did. No, I did not steal it. <laughs> you did not steal it. No, it was literally stolen from her garage. Whose garage? It was my girlfriend's garage. Okay. Where did she live? Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, 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 back door and they walked in to the seat out of her purse. So, anyway, um, uh, and then the guy used it for several robberies, you know, in the neighborhood. Because they dumped it somewhere. Because um, after a while, it gets hot and running around with something that you've been using to steal whatever with. Okay, everybody come around to the. The motor with about 90,000 miles on it, he's not paying any attention to me. What? Okay, the motor's a little bit rattling in it. Okay, so I do run a little bit heavier oil in it on purpose. Yeah. Just for fun. Okay, everybody come around here. Okay, what's the next step on our oil change? We put oil in it. Uh, check oil level. Okay, I did that. T's. Okay, T's, okay. What does that mean? Okay. Now let me tell you something. If you have an ignition key okay like like that that's a key okay if you have a fob and a push button start thing a lot of those are really difficult to tease okay you push a button and it starts and you're trying to shut it off real quick and you're not as fast as the car is okay so this one here i should be able to tease it okay now you guys remember doing that owner's manual assignment okay one of the questions on there is does your car have an oil change light or not an oil change light does your car have an oil pressure light or a oil pressure gauge okay and a lot of people put yes okay that's not the correct answer okay does it have a light or does it have a gauge okay two different things okay so i'll turn the key on and it has a light a little red light looks like a little genie with a drip thing coming out of it okay so i will spin this over run for a second okay that will let allow the oil to circulate through everything fill up the oil filter okay now while I'm on the sub okay the sticker okay uh, if it has synthetic oil we add uh, 5,000 miles to it okay and if it has an oil change reminder light or you know set up on it please reset that okay which both I have already done. Okay, so we're all set on that. Okay? 
And by the way, that's whatever the. Did you have that down the steps? No. Okay, so that, that's like the additional ones at the bottom. You know, reset oil change reminder light and also oil change sticker. Okay? Now, here's the thing that some people do. Okay? They've teased the vehicle, they've run it, they jump out of it and they run and grab the dipstick and they pull it out to recheck the oil, okay? And they don't give it time to settle into the oil pan. Me personally, give it a minute, okay? Take the time. Now you can crawl around the floor if you want, but it's on a place, so I'm gonna push the button, put it up in the air, and I'm gonna check my oil drain plug, see if it's leaking, and my filter. Okay. I can be pretty sure that neither one of them are, but why not check, you know? We've had students cross red oil filters in here, okay? And Mr. Mosek or myself have come over and checked them, and they feel like they're tight, okay? But they're cross threaded, so when they start it up, um, it dumps oil all over the place, so, you know. Um, well, this is nice and dry, and this is nice and dry, so we're good to go there. Okay, all right. Now, by the time I put it back down, I can pretty well assure you that the oil should be back in the oil pan. made that funny noise. What? Sure. What they tell you guys to do when you're done putting the air cleaner back in? <laughs> Plug the wire back in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm losing it. Check this again. Uh, what's your answer? I mean, what's your question? Is there a dip on this? Yeah. Yes, ma'am, there is. Why? Did you own one of these? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Right here. See, mine is not right there. Mine's sore. Yeah, but that's not what you're doing. Okay. Now. gets cold, please let us know. Don't keep pouring oil in there so it runs all over the floor. I don't see anything coming out of it. Must be a special filter. Okay. All right, turn it counterclockwise the first notch. Here's the piston retract. Okay, get the rest away. Take your filter out and toss it in. Okay, close the door. Any questions? Okay, we'll recheck that oil. I think we are done. Hmm. 
Okay. All right, I will do the rest of the vehicle inspection stuff with you at another time. I don't know if I'll drive this back or not. Kind of depends if change we see in there, but any questions? All right, thank you.